So we're just going to take a look at the underside of the wing here. Again, we've got we've just got one row of feathers for the main feather. So this is the same feather on that side as this side. Um, what do you notice is they're paler so that they're harder to see from underneath against the sky. But we've got our row of uh, essentially coverts again. Um, unfortunately, I don't know the name of these, so I'll put a, a label up. Um, and I guess these ones grow from just underneath the wing, so from the skin, as opposed to the, uh, the paired kind of uh, coming from the same uh, joint connection as, or bone connection. So for the primaries, that's the hand, for the secondaries, that's the owner. And then all the way down here, on a seabird, we've got uh, these longer feathers that grow all the way down. So this is the underneath of the uh, secondaries going into the, the tertials, which are just extensions of the secondaries. And then what some people call the true tertiaries, uh, as now known as the humerals, are these guys back here. And these humerals start bridging the gap um, into this open space. And you also get the, the scapulars from the top coming down. And then these little guys here, essentially the armpit. So these guys are very flexible and they can help form any shape against the body, any shape against the wing. So they're a lot, a lot more kind of pliable. Um, but as the wing stretches out, again, we've got the, let's do it from a bit further out. We've got the propitasium, this front edge here. The elbow is back here. So the elbow is where these longer feathers are coming from. Um, we've got the propitasium forms the front of the wing. And you'll see there's a bit of thickness here. This is actually all these top feathers start by facing down and back. And then as they go around the top, they go sideways and then over the top. Um, the hand only goes to this point here and the alula as you can tell, is on the other side. So it's just on the top. So the important thing to note, the bit that people miss typically um, is the groups of feathers up here that all originate up by the shoulder. They're the ones that are, are the very flexible ones. Actually, you can see they don't really move a lot. They don't need to move a lot. When the wing flaps, they do, but when it's outstretching, they stay relative to the body and not the wing.